The question of whether penis size matters is a topic that's often joked about, but in femdom and FLR, female-led relationship world, it becomes the center of humiliation and submission practices. However, how much does size truly matter, particularly in a female-led relationship? Contrary to common misconceptions, the average penis size is about 5 inches, not 9 or 10 or 11 like commonly believed. In female-led relationships, there are beta-submissive males with above-average sizes and alpha males with below-average sizes, so it's important to know that penis size alone does not determine one's level of submissiveness, dominance, or worth. Women, like everyone else, have varied preferences when it comes to size. Most women prefer penis size between 7 and 9 inches. Regardless of size, all men should focus on improving their oral skills to ensure their queen's satisfaction. While a woman may not leave a relationship solely because of penis size, sexual dissatisfaction can certainly be a deal breaker. As a submissive and supportive gentleman, you might have a deep desire to explore humiliation within the FLR dynamic. So if you've read my book Femdom and Spanking, you're likely already familiar with the specific aspects of humiliation that piqued your interest. So one area that has been growing in popularity is small penis humiliation, or SPH. This kink involves a dominant partner who is your queen degrading a submissive partner's penis, and it can manifest through verbal taunts, insults, physical degradation, engaging in sexual acts like emphasizing the submissive or demeaning nature of the penis, for example, measuring it with a ruler, comparing it to small carrot, or using a chassis device. A submissive can wear a dog mask like this one that I got from hothoney.com for even more humiliation. Some queens even enjoy involving their friends or the bull during cuckolding sessions and find different ways to make the experience exceptionally arousing. SPH is an experience that both you and your queen partake in together. Despite size, many men value their genitals and consider them to be the most treasured possession. Hence, you and your queen will spend significant time and attention on your intimate area. This intense focus gives you a sense of pride in your queen dominating you and it becomes an expression of her love by indulging in your fantasy while fulfilling your desire for humiliation. Now, engaging in SPH requires careful consideration and communication before from both of you. Before engaging in activities, it's crucial to negotiate and agree upon boundaries in a mutually understood manner. It's essential to establish clear comfort levels, maintain open communication throughout the activity so it remains safe, sane, and consensual. Small penis humiliation can be an intense emotional experience for both of you, so it's imperative to approach it with caution. Effectively incorporating SPH into your submission can become a part of a comprehensive training program. So often SPH can be practiced in conjunction with activities like cuckolding and chastity. If you want to delve deeper into these subjects, I recommend reading my books Cuckolding and Chastity as they provide valuable resources to properly engage in small penis humiliation. Now remember, exploration is the key to transforming your relationship or marriage. So start your journey into SPH and enrich your female-led relationship today by getting my books Cuckolding and Chastity.